how to get out of a creative rut. So I was in a big creative rut. It was for writing. And I haven't written in about seven years. Couldn't write. Just couldn't get pen to paper. Didn't think I was good enough. Just mentally, I was like, I, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be good. Why do I do it? When I grew up, that was my favorite activity. I loved journaling. Whenever there was a writing class, English reading. And when I got to college, I loved it. Screenwriting class, I excelled. I was one of the best in my class. And I just always loved it. And when I left school, I was still so confident in my writing. I was such a strong writer. Um, I haven't been able to write for seven years. I didn't know why. I was talking to my therapist and yes, I got therapy. And uh, she challenged me, why do you think it is? When was the last time you were able to write and she, uh, I was like, I don't know, there was this, and I, ta I thought about, okay, there was this film project that I self-funded uh, when I was out of college, like maybe a year or two out of college, and I wrote it, and I directed it, and I produced it, and basically, it never left the editing bay, it never got released, and it made me feel like it was a colossal failure. I self-funded it, put my life savings into it and everything into it, and it went nowhere, and it crushed my soul. And so what she said was, why don't you go back to that project now, seven years later, with that 31-year-old brain, not the 23-year-old's brain, 24-year-old's, go back with your brain and your experience that you have right now, and take a look and see what it is. Maybe you have more ideas. How would you approach these same issues? So what did I do? I did that. I went back to it. So I looked at it and I was like, wow, I freaking love this. I love what I wrote. And I started remembering like, oh yeah, people really like this one. And it started like giving me this confidence. And ever since then, I started writing for two months all the time and publishing my art, my writing online. And uh, it gave me such confidence because I was able to look at something that I thought was a failure and realize it wasn't a failure. It was actually pretty good. So I challenge you to do the same thing I did. Do you have an old project that you were working on that didn't work on out the way you wanted to? Maybe from when you were a, a kid or younger college years and it trying to like, oh, Nothing ever works out. It was one of those things. Maybe you have one of those projects that you can go revisit with your mature business brain that you have now and see if you could resolve that problem. Maybe it'll spark something in you. Who knows? It worked for me and hopefully it works for you. And um, I wish you the best of luck and knock them dead. Andy Mizrahi here, over and out.